and good defensive teams can come back and hold on. And they shot 63% in the second half, which is outstanding. We made a <clears throat> really couple blunders down the stretch and not blocking out with the lead. And then we try to reach in and get steals on Kilpatrick when he's an 86% foul shooter. It's just uncalled for. But give them a lot of credit. They made a lot of big plays. And um, we had them rattled and we let the game get away. But proud of the effort. Uh, not proud of the defensive execution or the rebounding. So we got to, We only have a day to prepare to get ready for Central Florida. Can't hang our heads, and we got to get ready. What did you think of Montrez's play and his efforts in regaining the lead? I thought he played very well. Wayne, just the five minutes. What do you think? I ju we just needed Luke on the court. He was the guy that was getting Montrez the ball. Did you want him in there? <laughs> um, just curious. Yeah. Do you, you want him in there over Luke? I'm just wondering why. No, I, you don't have to wonder. You, you watch the game. I watch the game. Well, then you don't want you want Luke in there if you watch the game. Right. It was a very it was not. So you'll you'll go in the locker room and you'll pick the guy that 13th man that didn't play and ask him a question. I'll ask you the question. What went wrong at the start? It's obvious. It's an obvious answer. Okay. Well, me saying it is not the same as you saying it. You're the coach. Thank you. Appreciate you. you. The start of the game, you know, they, they grabbed all the momentum. How much was rust? How much was not executing? He didn't have a great night, but he'd been great for us. Just had an off night. <clears throat> I mean, and also maybe the layoff. I mean, just get yourself back. No, I had game. nothing to do. I had to do with Cincinnati. It's a weird conference. I, that's all I can say. I don't, I don't understand why. You know, it's weird. All these eight days off. And I don't get it. Coach, uh, Chris didn't shoot the ball particularly well tonight, 3 of 11, but he did make some key plays uh, during the second half. What did you make of his first game back? I thought he did fine. I thought he was fine. I just thought our defense was very porous. We made bad decisions defensively. <clears throat> you know, when we switched, we didn't block out. And the last play of the game, we, you know, we got the lead. We had a missed shot. And no block out of the best rebounder in our league from an offensive standpoint is just absurd. And we had a chance to foul, and we didn't foul. What did Kilpatrick do for them in terms of kind of steadying them down the stretch, Rick? Well, he, he doesn't miss free throws. You know, it's, it, if you look at what he shoots from the field, it's awesome. He has a good assist turnover ratio, and he doesn't miss free throws. I mean, it wasn't even close when he went to the line. And what we wanted to try and do is not reach in on him, make him pass the basketball, and twice Russ reached in on him for no rhyme or reason. Did you see what you wanted to see out of Chris with the long layoff and him being out? Yes. Once you got the lead, did you do the things offensively on a couple of possessions? We just didn't block out at a key point of the game, and it, it cost us the game. And then we, you know, we Russ made a good move to the basket. I thought it was in, and it went out. And then Montrez wasn't there where he was supposed to beat the offensive rebound, but Russ made a good move. It was just a big-time physical game. Lots of guys getting knocked off balance, walking calls. Uh, lots of fouls. It wasn't finesse. It was sort of like Cincinnati and Louisville. Well, that, that's who it was. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs>